I say if a man is going to, if you are my man and you're going to cheat, that's fine. But there, there are some things that I don't want you to do. When you get with your side chick, don't mention my name. Don't talk about how I dress. Don't talk about how I look first thing in the morning. Don't talk about my house or our house. Don't talk about our arguments and our resolution. Basically, if you're going to cheat, just do not mention my name. The way that I feel is that most men do have side chicks. But in the world that we live in, they always feel like they have to reach back into the home and give a reason as to why they're doing what they're doing. I really don't agree with the term cheat because when you mention the word cheat, then it carries the idea that you're playing a game. So, since our society is so used to the word cheat, then I'll go with it. But I will add, respect the game. What a lot of men don't realize is that you don't have to reach back into your home and find something condescending to say about your bay that you have at home. Where I am in my world is my man can do whatever the fuck he want to do. And that includes cheating. But all I simply ask is respect the game. And that's how you respect the game, by simply respecting her. It is the most disrespectful thing to get with a side chick or step outside the boundaries of marriage or uh, do away with your covenant that you made with her and then go to some person that gives you whatever it is that you're needing at that moment but you feel it necessary to fill her in on at why you're there and that's when you are disrespecting the game The reason why I say that is because you are ultimately not going to leave your boo thing at home. You're not going to leave her. In most cases, they are not. Let me put it that way. Some cases they do. But in a lot of cases, they're not. So why give her, that woman, the side chick, or... I'll just say that woman that you're enjoying a night with, why give her that? Why disrespect your wife and then give her all of that information when it's totally not necessary? Well, Pastor Lynn, Lynn Littlejohn, the pastor's ex-wife, what are you, what are you saying? I've said it before, I'll say it again. Nobody's really yours, it's just your turn. You know, people get mad at me, they get upset, especially married women, when I start saying things like, I did on my other post, side chicks have more fun. Well, they do. I mean, what part of that you don't agree with? And then here come all of this relational talk. You know, lower self-esteem. That's all you're getting is a piece of him. Uh, What part of 
that's all they want that you don't understand. That's all they want. And it's just hard for married women to wrap that around their head is that's all they want. They get the good good, they go on back home fighting with with your eyes. I mean, that's just how it goes. Why do I say what I'm saying is because it is true. Things are not the same once you get married uh, as it was when you were dating. It is true. She's laid there and she had those babies for you. You have a couple of sons, a daughter. You have four kids. You have five kids. It is true that she's tired. It is true that her body is not the same. It can't be. It's impossible for her body to be the same when she's given you two, three, four, five, six kids. It's not possible. So it is true that when you come home, she doesn't feel like doing those things that she did when you all were dating because things have changed. It is true that she tends to the house and and, and the kids through school and uh, you may want to do some freaky stuff at 3 o'clock in the morning and she doesn't feel like it. She want to turn over and go to sleep. It is true. So that is the reason why I say respect the game. Respect her. Give her the ultimate respect and keep that everything about what you're doing outside of the home. Well, Lynn, it sounds like you're condoning stepping out. It doesn't matter if I'm condoning it or not. It's going to happen. Humans are not made to be everything, all things that a person wants, need, or desire for the next 60 years. I mean, you all believe that. Most people fall into that, but it's not possible. I won't change my stand on that. That's my stance. So having taken that into consideration, respect the game. But what you don't understand, a lot of men don't understand, when you don't respect the game, and there she go crying, her feelings is hurt, everything. You just um, broke her heart, turned the world upside down, all of that. Then all it takes is for a man to come by and make her smile. And the rest is what it is.